guys, Maynard the Talking Monkey here, and uh, the Thor Jack comes and teaches us a cool trick, and it's a really, really cool trick. Stick around till the end, because there's some really special things he's going to teach us about the trick to make it even better. Don't forget to subscribe, and click the little like button down there if you like the video. Thanks! Magic Secrets! That's right, it's Magic Secrets! Tricks so easy, a monkey could do them! Hey buddy, watch it! Captain Jack Spare Ribs here, welcome to Pirate Monkey TV. If you've been here before, or you're a regular subscriber, you're gonna realize that, first of all, I'm not dressed like I normally am. I'm wearing a Pirate Monkey TV hoodie because it's freezing cold here today. Also, this is not our normal studio setup. We just got back off the road from doing a whole bunch of shows, and so we didn't have time to set that all up. But I wanna get Tricky Tuesday out today. Here we go. We're gonna start with a trick that I learned when I was only five years old. It's the first trick I ever performed for an audience. The audience was just a bunch of relatives sitting around a table. But when I did the trick, they were so amazed, they made me do it a second time. Now you're not supposed to repeat the same trick twice for the same audience, but I was only five years old, and my aunt that taught me the trick said it might be okay this one time. So I did it again. It blew their minds a second time. The trick is that good. Here's how it looks. Here's the trick. I'm gonna take this penny and place it on the table. I'm gonna cover it with a salt shaker and cover the salt shaker with a paper napkin. That way we can't see the penny and what's happening underneath. On the count of three, the penny is going to travel all the way through the table. One, two, three. There it goes, right through the... Wait. That's funny, it didn't work. Maybe I didn't tap it hard enough. One, two, three. There it goes, right through the table, as you can see. I forgot the magic words. Presto. And look. Something went right through the table. That's the trick. Here's the secret. Obviously, we're never really trying to put the penny through the table. We're going to repeat it three times so they really think you're trying to put the penny through. This misdirects their attention from what you're really doing, which is basically dropping a salt shaker in your lap. It looks like this. Once you've covered it up with a napkin, the napkin will hold the salt shaker's shape, and as long as you're holding it, it won't look bad. Here's the secret move. The penny sits near the edge of the table, just a few inches. You cover it up, and when you look to see if the penny has gone through the table the first time, which of course it hasn't, you pull the salt shaker and napkin back toward the edge of the table. You look and point at the penny and say, nope, it's still there. You cover it back up. You tap it again. You look again. This time, the second time you look to see if it's there, you release your grip slightly on the salt shaker. Did you see it? It's gone. I catch it in my lap. Now you've got to make sure that your legs are up a little bit, elevated, so they're not slanted. You don't want it to fall off. You want to land on your lap and be caught. If you need to, put a napkin or something over your lap so it'll help keep it from falling in between your legs. The move is very simple. When you slide it back, you point here, nothing happens. You try it again. Now by this time, they're wondering what's going on. They're not paying attention to the salt shaker at all. Did you see it go? I dropped it again. Watch from this side. There's a few tips and things you have to remember when you're performing this trick. First, when you go to check the penny to see that's gone, don't move your salt shaker to the right or the left. Don't move it sideways, always forward and back. 
Second, don't lift the salt shaker to check it. Every single time you look, it has to be done exactly the same so that they get used to it. That's why we do it at least twice. Once, nothing happens. Twice, nothing happens. Three times, nothing happens. It's right there still. But watch, something happened. Now, did you see that fourth time? Did you see it drop? It's very hard to see if you follow all the rules. Don't lift the salt shaker. Don't move it to the side. Always move it straight back. Don't move it part way because that's going to happen. Move it all the way off, but don't lift it so they can't see it fall. You want to move it back so that the edge of your finger rests right at the edge of the table. That way you know that it's far enough, that it's not up too high, and there's no way they could possibly see it disappear. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, now's a good time to do it. Just click subscribe right down there, and if you like this video, click like at the end. That way we know you liked it. Leave a comment below about what kind of tricks you'd like to see on our channel. 